Hello, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what's going on at Bays Mountain Park over the next uh, few weeks, and in fact, over the next few months. Uh, first of all, I want to bring your attention to a few new things that are taking place at the park, uh, and one of those, obviously, is going to be our ropes course. Now, I don't have concrete, solid public information for you, but I do want to let you know that um, we are planning our first, our very first public um, event with the ropes course on Wednesday, April 13th from 3 to 5 p.m. where we will be officially opening up our zip line component of the ropes course. Um, that's going to be $10 per person um, and we're very excited about being able to offer this uh, new feature to our public. I think it's a great addition to the park. And coming in right behind that, of course, will be team building opportunities uh, that can be done either on our low course or on the elevated ropes course, known as our hawk's nest, uh, or all three of the items. Um, so we're very excited about being able to offer this, and certainly we hope that uh, your group, um, business, uh, or indeed even family and friends uh, who are interested in some team building and adventure and outdoor fun will consider uh, certainly the ropes course and the zip line to go along with that. Again, that's uh, going to be Wednesday, April 13th from 3 to 5 p.m. And then we'll have another opportunity to ride the zip line on Saturday, April 16th from 1 until 4 p.m. So hope you'll come on out and enjoy us um, and have a great time. Uh, I'm sure you're going to love it. Uh, we also want to bring your attention to a few items that uh, are common and, and popular events at the park that we've done for quite some time. Many of you are familiar with the observatories uh, at the park. And we just want to remind folks that throughout the months of March and April, uh, folks can come up on Saturday evenings and enjoy a Star Watch program. Star Watch programs, again, are free events, no charge, and each time they will begin at dusk. Um, we have set start times, like for example, this coming weekend, we'll start at 7.30 p.m. But a general rule of thumb is when it gets dark, that's when our Star Watch programs will begin. It's a great opportunity for folks of all level of interest in astronomy, uh, regardless of whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or expert. It's a great opportunity to come and view the night sky through a high-powered lens at any one of our telescopes there at the observatory. Um, provides a wonderful glimpse of some uh, celestial items that uh, will range anywhere from a closer view of the moon, uh, some stars, uh, even some galaxies. Um, this wonderful event is hosted by the Bays Mountain Astronomy Club along with our planetarium staff. They are patient and wonderful to work with everyone uh, who attends in answering questions and indeed letting folks know exactly what it is you're looking at through those high-powered lenses. So, again, that's every Saturday in March and April, um, beginning at dawn, or at dusk. Uh, another opportunity at those very same uh, telescopes is a special program on Saturdays and Sundays uh, from now and through the end of October, and that's called our Sun Watch. Sun Watch gives folks an opportunity to view our sun up close through a specially filtered lens. Um, it's probably one of the neatest things we're able to do because, uh, again, the sun is the closest uh, star to our planet and obviously has uh, a very significant uh, place in our solar system. Um, its uh, power and, and majesty is uh, certainly a sight to behold in those uh, specially filtered lenses and provides a very unique glimpse uh, of the sun. Folks who um, are lucky enough may even get to see sunspots uh, through those lenses. And so, again, that's going to take place on Saturdays and Sundays uh, from here until the end of October, uh, beginning at 3 o'clock uh, daily, or uh, Saturday and Sunday, um, and running until 3.30. Uh, of course, that is weather permitting. In the event of inclement weather, there will be no Sun Watch program. And I might add, if the weather is inclement for the Star Watch programs, a special program will be held in the planetarium for those. I also want to bring your attention to our summer day camp programs. We are now accepting registrations 
uh, for those who have kids and grandkids entering grades first through sixth grade this coming fall. Um, probably one of the neatest things uh, your child can take uh, part in. We have so many folks who come back year after year, uh, bring their kids, uh, folks who have attended themselves as kids, creates um, literally a lifetime worth of memories. Uh, kids attending will uh, be able to certainly enjoy the outdoors, uh, provides a week full of wonderful learning opportunities, fun, and of course, again, creating memories that uh, certainly we feel certain your child or grandchild will take with them forever. Um, cost is just $55 per child uh, for folks who are part members. For those who are not part members, uh, cost is $90. That $90, however, also includes uh, a park membership. So when you sign your child up for summer day camp, uh, if you're not a park member, you will automatically become a park member, and that membership gives you year-round privileges to enjoy Bays Mountain Park. It's a great bargain. Uh, again, a lot of fun for the kids. Uh, it's a very low-cost op offering for uh, summer day camp, and certainly we feel like um, a tremendous bargain. And promise it will be a blast for your children or grandchildren. Um, certainly want to direct your attention to our website at www.baysmountain.com and at that website you can find out more detailed information about uh, summer day camp dates, um, fees, as well as download a registration form that you can certainly either email or mail back to us with your payment. And again, that's uh, I cannot stress uh, truly how much fun uh, your child or grandchild will have. And again, it's a wonderful learning opportunity on top of all the fun that they can expect to have. I um, do want to update folks on our current uh, park hours. Right now we are still in the midst of our spring park hours. We're open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. Uh, we are open on the weekends, however, extended hours. 8.30 a.m. until 8 p.m. on Saturday, as well as noon until 8 p.m. on Sunday. And, of course, the Nature Center opens at noon on both of those days. Uh, so certainly hope you'll take advantage of the extra daylight time on the weekends and uh, come out and enjoy a wonderful weekend, a relaxing weekend, whether it be hiking, mountain biking, um, enjoying a planetarium show, a barge ride, or simply coming out and cruising through our live animal habitats and enjoying the wolves, the otters, the bobcats, or the deer. Um, certainly hope you'll come out and take advantage again of these extra hours and um, enjoy what we hope will be a wonderful weekend for you and your family. Um, at this time, we do have some additional planetarium news, and I'd like to pitch it over to Adam Thans. Adam? Thanks, Rob. Here we are at Bays Mountain Planetarium at Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee. Uh, my name is Adam Thans. I'm the Planetarium Director here at Bays Mountain, and we've got an exciting new show for everybody to see entitled A Part of the Sky Called Orion. And it's a program that looks at uh, how three different cultures saw the same part of the sky uh, that we call Orion. Uh, we look at the uh, Greek, Egyptian, and Inupiaq stories of the part of the winter sky and it's a really exciting program for everybody the show is also a joint effort with uh, students and professors from ETSU uh, we have three of the students that were involved here uh, with me and uh, to my right is Heather Freeze who uh, was uh, the uh, kind of the spearhead behind the script itself and also uh, coordinating the efforts behind the scenes of getting everybody together. And on my left are Michaela Minahan and Pedro Flores, who are two of the artists that, that excuse me, are two of the artists that created uh, some of the visuals for two of the different cultures that you'll be uh, seeing in the program and they did a great job they all did a great job at uh, working as a team to uh, create this production for everybody to see and uh, it also was a great experience for all of us and the show is actually going to be running uh, all the way up through the end of May here at Bays Mountain it will be running um, on the weekends at 1, 2, and 4 o'clock during the week Tuesday through Friday at 4 o'clock um, everybody's welcome to attend and it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody. 
Thank you, Adam. Certainly appreciate the information, and we're very excited about uh, all that is taking place with our planetarium and the shows that um, our extremely talented staff are creating. Certainly hope you and your family will come and take part in one of those shows and enjoy. Um, certainly, for more information about anything you've heard here today, visit our website at www.baysmountain.com or simply give us a call at 423 229 9447. You can also find us on Facebook at Bays Mountain Park. Thank you.